does the narcissist get better in their next relationship? You hear that the narcissist is with someone else. You may see them in public. And while they were with you, maybe they didn't have much money. Maybe they didn't have a job or a place to live. Maybe they didn't take proper care of themselves. And you had to keep checking them to make sure they're doing things the right way. You had to take care of them and it became normal to you. You got used to it. Because you accepted that it's just how they are. But sometimes the narcissist will be involved with someone else and it will seem like they've suddenly came up. They've suddenly snagged someone who is more attractive, more successful and richer than you. Someone who looks good. Someone who has a lot of money. And it will seem like they're suddenly the person that you worked so hard to try to get them to be. They're looking after themselves more. They look better. They've got a car now. And they didn't have a car when they were with you. They've got a good job. And it looks like they're being sensible and reliable. It looks like they're calm and controlled. Which they could never do with you. They could never be that person with you. And you may look at it and wonder why. You may think that this new person is better than you. You may think that they're better for the narcissist than you were. And it may leave you feeling like you're not enough. As though it was all your fault. And the narcissist will want you to think this way. They will use it to hurt you. But the reality is that this other person is just a better enabler for the narcissist. They encourage and enable negative and self-destructive behavior in the narcissist. They allow and make it easier for them to do what they shouldn't do. They allow them to progress to a certain level. So all the narcissist has really gained is an enabler. Someone who justifies and supports the narcissist's potentially harmful and dangerous behavior and bad habits. Someone who makes excuses for them. Someone who ignores their own needs. Someone who tends to avoid conflict. Someone who takes on more responsibilities for them. And someone who may eventually experience resentment towards the narcissist. But these are only the beginning stages of the relationship. So it may look fine in the beginning. It may look good to someone with little knowledge or experience of it. It may look like they've gained control of their emotions and they're behaving in a calm way. And you may wonder why they couldn't do that with you. But every situation is different. And sometimes it may look like the narcissist is doing better without you. 
especially if they have found a grade A source of supply. When they meet someone who is more attractive, successful and richer, someone who looks good, someone who has a lot of money, they're going to put on a better act. They're going to try to attract and fascinate them. They're going to give them excessive attention and affection as a way of manipulating them and pulling them into the relationship. Because they really want this person to throw out everything they have to them. So they have to have an appearance and style that is appropriate to that role. They have to look suitable for that particular situation. They have to try to be more than what they were so that they can portray this narrative of how you brought them down. And that's the reason why they are like they are. Because they were dealing with you. And you weren't that attractive or successful. Or you didn't have that much money. And that's why they couldn't be right with you. So now they have to look suitable for that situation. They have to have an appearance that is expected for the situation. And this other person is just unwise, stupid, and doesn't show good judgment. They're making a foolish mistake. By investing without understanding, or using their judgment into someone they don't know, while the narcissist is playing their role, they're putting on an act. They're seeking the favor and support of this other person. They're trying to gain their love and affection. They're trying to make everything look good. Because if this other person has a lot of money, the narcissist is going to benefit from it. But that's all you're really seeing. You're just seeing the narcissist using up all of their resources. So naturally they're going to look like they're in a better position. They're going to look like they've changed. But really, everything you're seeing is just a result of this other person. They're the ones who are doing all of the work to make the narcissist look good. Because this other person is a fool. They don't have the knowledge or development to behave correctly or make an informed decision. They're not smart or sensible enough. They're stupid. Which is why they're putting everything into it. Because they're buying into this dream. They're buying into this fantasy that the narcissist is presenting to them. And that's why they're investing into the narcissist. That's all you're seeing. The narcissist hasn't gotten better. They're just putting on a better act. They're still exactly the same person as they were with you. They just have to put on a better act. And put in more effort. To persuade this other person that they're worth investing into. The narcissist will make them believe that they're helping them get back to where they were before they got involved with you, which is a pack of lies. But the narcissist knows how to make up a story. They know how to act like they're this person that you can invest into and boastfully display their abilities or accomplishments. I display them as a source of pride. The narcissist will put on an act. 
for as long as this person is willing to invest into them, for as long as they're willing to act foolishly and give in to the narcissist. But even that doesn't last long, because it will gradually become normal to the narcissist. It will no longer have the same effect on them, and they will get bored of it. They will take it for granted. There may have been things that motivated them to do something or meet specified standards in the beginning. If this other person is constantly spending money and doing all of these things for the narcissist, the narcissist may agree with them and obey their rules for a certain amount of time. They might not do anything to mess it up. And you may wonder how they're with this other person for such a long time. But it's only because they're still getting what they need. This other person is fulfilling their requests. They're meeting the narcissist demands. Because this other person hasn't become aware of it yet. They're still under a spell. They're not fully in control of their thoughts and actions. They're so devoted to the narcissist that it may seem like the narcissist has magic power over them. So the narcissist may continue to put on an act. But they're still having problems. They're still experiencing the same issues that you experience with them. They're still a narcissist. That disorder is not going to leave just because they're with someone else. Just because someone decided to spend money on them. It's still there. So they're having the same issues. And this other person is ignoring or refusing to think about it. Because they want to believe in the narcissist and they're desperate to be with them. Or they're starting to react differently to the narcissist. And the narcissist knows how to conceal their intentions. They know how to hide the evidence of their bad actions. They know how to keep their activities and intentions hidden. So you're not going to get a complete view of the issues that they're experiencing. So everything could look perfect from the outside. But on the inside, they're experiencing the same things that they did with you. It's just a different situation, but it's the same thing. So don't worry or be unhappy when you hear about the narcissist with this other person. They didn't meet a better person. They didn't meet someone with unique strengths or interests to make the narcissist change. They just found someone who was a bigger fool. Someone who was even more unaware than you were. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsfiber.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.